So what are we doing today? Well, today I'm learning how to tie flies and um, I'm at the Colorado Outdoor Adventure Guide School. And um, it's a two week program that's actually endorsed by the GI Bill. So as you may or may not know, I am a veteran, but I already have my degrees and my current I guess you could say occupation is, uh, you know, rancher, farmer, but agro-tourism enthusiast, I guess. And uh, so this plays directly into what I'm hoping to change my ranch into because uh, I do have deer and duck leases and I'm hoping to attract people to fish my private waters. And I thought that fly fishing, because most of Texas is bass fishing and, uh, just the regular spin casting. And um, I thought that perhaps I could accommodate those that just wanna practice fly fishing on my waters. So I wanted to learn the basic lingo and what they're looking for. And so this course involves fishing lakes, like calmer waters, and then the second week incorporates uh, learning how to read the, the flowing waters, like rivers and streams. And in with that, you learn the morphology of the different insect baits that you'll be presenting to the fish. And um, it's a, a very good school. It's very encompassing, and you learn a little bit of the business side of things, which of course I'm interested in because I'm hoping to apply that directly to my farm venue for agrotourism. So currently, you can see that I have a hook in the vise, and there's like a million YouTubes of how to tie flies. By far, I am not an expert. I am just learning. But you lose so many flies that uh, it's really a good skill to have to be able to make your own. And a lot of the materials that you use, I can find around the farm. So I have horse hair and, and hide and and uh, things of that nature because you incorporate feathers and things like that to make hackles. So that's what we're doing today. We're uh, just continuing on with learning how to be a fishing guide up here in Colorado. And on top of that, I get away from the heat of, of Texas for, for a little while and get to visit some family. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I would suggest, you know, keep on building your skill set whatever your calling might be, uh, you should never, not, you should be a lifelong learner. It's important. It keeps your life interesting and, uh, and it enhances your life as well. So anyway, enjoy your weekend. I'll see you soon enough. Bye.